A Stuart Models beam engine rebuild and this is part 10. An early Christmas present and painting the engine parts. This was sent to me by one of my kind Patreon supporters, a man called Dan. And it's a really nice thing. I don't have one of these. I have a large face cutter that's a bit too heavy duty for a lot of jobs, but this one's perfect. Thanks Dan, I appreciate it. I called in to see David English at Jubilee Fittings and bought some of these. These are two new safety valves for my 7.25 inch gauge titch, and this is a safety valve with a 3 8 by 26 thread on the end. I was on my way to the usual Thursday band rehearsal, so after I spent a bit of time with David and Don English, I went to Blackgate's Engineering and bought one of these. If you watched the Hogwarts Castle episode when I was riveting, you will realise that I did not have a rivet snap for 1 16 rivets. I made my own, but I thought I'd buy a proper one. Time to put it somewhere where I'm not going to lose it like I did with the last one. It's in this old cabinet that I've had for many years. While I was at Blackgate's Engineering, I had a really pleasant surprise. One of my kind Patreon supporters, a man called George, had arranged some Blackgate's gift vouchers, so I thought it was a good time to stock up on various things that I don't have. Thank you, George. I do like early Christmas presents. As you can see, I've bought various steel nuts and bolts. Some of the nuts and bolts that I got are like these. These are standard size 7BA bolts with nuts. These are some 5BA standard size nuts. I'll sort some bolts out from my other little box when I get round to it. I use parts like this all the time. And it was okay when I lived in West Yorkshire because Blackgate's engineering was about three miles away. So unless it was on a Saturday afternoon when they closed, I could just get in the car and nip up the road to buy some more parts. But now I live 50 miles away from Blackgate's engineering, so I have to plan what I need in advance. In this clip, I'm using a telescopic magnet to sort out all the one size smaller 2BA bolts that I bought the other week. I think now I've got them all. These are going into a new box, but I'm still keeping the old box for different kinds of 2BA bolts. When I was with Don and David English at Jubilee Fittings, I asked if they had any of their superb oilers in stock, but David said no, I sold the last two to Blackgate's Engineering. So when I went to Blackgate's Engineering, with the help of the voucher from George, I bought a couple of these. I really love these oilers, they are so simple. They don't have a clutch, you just need to move the arm back and forth. And to regulate the flow of oil from the lubricator, all you have to do is change the position of the arm on the shaft so the cam moves slightly differently. If you want more oil, adjust it so the cam moves quite a lot. If you want less oil, adjust it so the cam doesn't move hardly at all. In due course, I'll be fitting one of these oilers to an engine I'm about to buy. So I'll do a feature on how to set them up, because some people seem to struggle with the principle, but once you know how they work, it's very easy. I've written the word lubricators on this piece of card, which tells me that that particular plastic box has lubricators in it. Over time, I will populate all of these plastic boxes. It's now time to sit back and relax, taking medication where applicable, because it's painting time. I was going to paint this beam engine using Crimson Lake paint, but in the end I went for the trusty old Great Western Railways Green. I'm really sorry about this, but I do like these beam engines from Stuart Models to be green. In the background I'm playing some suitable Christmas music because it's nearly Christmas 2019, and I call this tune Music to Paint Stuart Models Beams By, using a tin of Phoenix Precision Paints GWR Green. I often like to give creative titles to the music that I write. I'm going to clean up this next gag. I once wrote a song that was really beautiful. It had a melody to die for. It was absolutely the best. But no one was interested in it. And I thought, well, what am I doing wrong? So I went to see a record company and the man said, well, the song's great, but what about the title? And I said, well, what do you mean? He said, well, you've called it. I love you so much, baby. I haven't been to the toilet for several days. And after a joke like that, I'm going to stop talking.
after applying a very thin coat of paint to the underside of the column where it meets the base, just to stop it rusting. All that's left to do now is to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and say thanks for watching, I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Main Steam Models website. Click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you will find it very easy to find other videos that you may like to watch.